But we've still got another five cruises to tempt you with. And, oh, this is another... We've got, honestly, tonight's show is really, really hot. This is P&O on board the Oceana. And it's under £600. Again, the price has come down on this one. Let's take you on board. Uh, so P and O, they've been around for a long time, Gemma. Haven't yeah, they? 178 years to be precise. Wow! Um, so they know what they're doing. And again, you know, I think similar to Thompson. Actually, it's fair to say that P and O are really popular because again, customers just know what they're getting. They trust the brand, and so they always return. As we well. get a lot of return. And customers. P and O, they're, they're a very British brand. Everything on board yeah. is in the pound, isn't it? Absolutely. And so you've got, you know, food, you know, lots of British food, but you've also got the Marco Pierre White Cafe Jardin. You've You've got your buffet court, you've got a real uh, a lot of choice. You've got the Horizon Grill, so yeah, you'll be spot for choice when it comes to food. And you know, all your needs will be met. The service oh. is going to be fantastic. You've got nice, spacious cabins as well. Um, and actually, this particular ship did have a one million pound facelift in December 2012, so she's in really good shape. <laughs> that's, a oh, that's a lot of money, it's a lot of money, yeah. Sean. Yeah, it really, really is. And also on Oceana, now they've got Freedom Dining. So so passengers can dine when they like and with whom they like, which is becoming increasingly popular. And it's something that people who haven't been on a cruise before sometimes say, oh, I'm not sure because, you know, they don't realise how laid back it is, how informal it can be. You can dress up or you can just chill out. You know, it's totally up to the passengers, um, which is really nice. You've got 12 bars, you've got a theatre and a cinema, a nightclub, and, a casino. And talking of which, I know, because Pino are a very British brand, and if the entertainment, you know... All if it's a comedian, it's going to be a great British comedian and you're going yeah. to get their humour, you know. Yeah. Um, great West End style shows. Um, by the way, I know that clip film you saw on some nice balconies. They're, they're really good on this one as well. 749 for balcony. Yeah. Really good. But where are, we, where are we going to? It starts off nice and easy. From Southampton. Yes, absolutely. So pack anything you like and off you sail. And then what's quite nice is the first two days you've got at sea, so you can just really enjoy the ship. Actually. Yeah, I like it. Get to know the ship. Yeah, and... absolutely. Just go, yes, I'm on holiday. And then day four, you'll be ready maybe to explore. So you sail into Lisbon the capital of Portugal, of course, and you can go and enjoy the city. And you can explore it on foot. You'll be able to do that, very relaxed. Um, but, of course, at Planet Cruise as well, we can organise excursions for you and at really good prices, so do ask. Lots of sights to see as well, if that's your kind of thing. You can go and see the Bellum Tower, which you'll see as you sail in. Um, you could go to the Maritime Museum. There's lots of different areas within Lisbon as well. So you've got, like, the old area, the bit that's good for shopping. So we can help you with all of that as well if you want any advice on where to go and then on day five you're going to sail into Seville into Cadiz um, which I know this sounds like a crazy thing to say but you're gonna get that real authentic Spanish feel I mean, of course you get that in all of Spain, because it's all Spanish. But do you know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, no, I do. You know, that, like yeah. as a tourist, you want to go somewhere that really feels, you know, like proper old Spain. Yeah, and that is some Seville. parts of Spain do feel a bit too unpleasant. Yeah, you kind of could they? be, you wouldn't know where you are yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, but Seville is beautiful. Um, uh, you know, it's the heartland of flamenco, so that kind of says it all. And it's got some real ancient places you could go and visit. But, um, yeah, lovely squares, um, beautiful beaches, it's got it all. And then on day six, you're going to sail to... To Gibraltar of course very famous for the rock that you will definitely spot um, you could get a cable car um, right down it which would be a great way to see the place um, look at that view amazing gotta have a head for heights that's St Michael's cave and the other thing Gibraltar is famous for are these funny looking apes which inhabit Gibraltar grumpy, they? they do look a little bit grumpy so you could go and see the apes den uh, <laughs> and then you've got a day at sea and then day eight you're going to sail into Barcelona which is just you know one of the most beautiful cities in Europe that of course is the famous Sagrada Familia the huge cathedral that looms over all of it we're off to Barcelona on another cruise so we're going to talk about it in more depth later. On day nine, you're going to sail into Cannes, of course, famous for the, the film festival that happens there on the Croisette once a year. And it is a very glamorous place. 
Um, I tell you what, exciting, eat and drink on the ship. It's quite pricey <laughs> yeah. to have a drink in can. Yeah, that's so, good yes, advice, Gemma. That's a good thing yes. about being on the ship. You can go and have all your refreshments there. Um, day 10, you are sailing into Livorno, and from here, you could go to Florence, or you could go the other way, and you could go to uh, Pisa, but you're also really near Lucca, which is a stunning oh, old city, yeah. walled city. I, I've been there. It's beautiful, yeah, it's it? really nice, and once you get into it, you can go everywhere on foot, foot as well. So if you've been to any of those places before, you know, there's choice of the kind of three things you could do there, um, all of them great choices. And then on day 11, we're going to arrive in Genoa, and we will disembark the ship and fly you back home. Now, it is important itinerary. to say you've got a flight back, but you've got a return flight either to London, Bournemouth, Birmingham or Manchester. So we'll actually show you this right now, so just to uh, talk you through. So return flights to London, Bournemouth, Birmingham or Manchester, plus all your overseas transfers. Now you might be thinking, but hang on, I'm cruising from Southampton, so it's going to be a bit of a nightmare with your car. Not at all. We are going to include coach transfers from your chosen airport to Southampton. So, you know, say if you, um, you, you know, you're flying back to Manchester, we'd actually arrange a coach to take you from Manchester to Southampton so you could leave your car there make it really easy and I mentioned we've got a great price reduction tonight you will be saving 270 pounds off the brochure price there as well so honestly you know if you do want to book a cruise or if you've you know never cruised before at these kind of prices we would love you to try and you will be hooked that's anything else I, I booked my first cruise mm -hmm. seven years ago and I'm now on my 20th Amazing, um, I know, I just I've shows, doesn't it? But it happens to everybody who goes yeah. on their first cruise. They never, I, they never look back. <laughs> if I can afford it when I'm retired, I'll, I'll be doing... You're just uh, going to live on a cruise ship? I would love to. Uh, now, we'd love you to be part of the show to stay in touch as well. So you can sign up to our newsletter. You can call now to get your free copy of our Journey magazine. And do check out our website, planetcruise.co.uk. It's a brilliant website. And so we can find you any cruise with any provider and make it bespoke to you as well.